I don't want to go to jail. I want her locked up for theft. I don't want to go to jail. Right now. I live right down here. Yeah. I can't even come home. first got here, I think we were probably about 50 or 60,000 people, and now we're almost a million 200,000. Uh, um, and you're going to get those big city problems anytime you have a community that grows and expands like that, especially at the rate that we're expanding. Uh, we just got a call. There was uh, somebody came home and uh, saw three juveniles were inside burglarizing their house and ran out the back door. And uh, we're in the neighborhood now. We're responding with a couple of uh, patrol units to see if we can find the suspects roving around. We're looking for a black male juvenile and uh, two Latin male juveniles in t-shirts and jeans. I'm over there, Al. Maybe I can, maybe I'll remember that house. We're going to call and we'll go over there and knock on the door. I don't remember. I didn't pay much attention to the house because the car was parked out front. Stop. I have no brakes. Stop. I'm Pull sorry. over or I'll ram you. Stop. Great. White male juvenile with a red and blue bandana, green shorts, and a white t-shirt. <laughs> just hold, just relax, it's okay. Take your time. Listen to me, listen to me, you won't get hurt, okay. just listen. Put your hand behind your back. What you running for? What are you running for? He's wearing gloves. I got him on still. What else you got? My cigarettes. Get your dope back in there for you. Oh, oh. I'll read your rights here. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Alan. What'd you run for? Is that a warrant? Stand up. Okay. Yeah. We're in the car. Yeah. Oh, how old are you? Twenty-six. Okay. You, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one would be point before questioning. Do you understand these rights? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, just have him stand right there in front. When we were running after him, it looked like he was trying to dig in his pockets, so I don't know if he was trying to ditch something or not. But we'll look through this backpack he had on when we first saw him, and maybe we'll get lucky and find some property from the burglary that we thought he might be involved with. We actually picked him up. He was in the neighborhood. We picked him up because it's probably about 90 or 95 degrees out, and he was wearing gloves riding his bicycle. So we thought it looked kind of suspicious. Then when we tried to stop him, he just tried to take off on us. You know what we associate cotton gloves with, though? Yeah. What? Well, cotton gloves? What do we associate? What do police officers associate cotton gloves with? I don't know. Well, not with bike riders, right? Yes, sir. OK. Yeah, I guess. There's a difference between bike gloves You've been riding bikes oh, long enough to know yeah, that. These are $3, though. This came out of your bike. What is this? Sir, that's an iron, sir. I know. It says a mini iron, but what is it? It's an iron. That's all. Well, what would you use this for? You don't iron your clothes. What do you mean, what would you use it for? What would you use this for? An iron, just like it, like it's, like it says. To iron clothes with it? Things, things up. Okay, does this happen? Is it narcotics paraphernalia or not? No. That's my question. Can okay, I you got that? tons of it, and I've not seen this before. What is this used for? Tell, tell me what you use it for. It's an iron. Just to, for, it's not even mine. It's, it's my girlfriend. What does your girlfriend use this for? To iron. What does she iron? iron? I don't know what she irons with it. Okay, why is it on your bike? I just know. It's not. I use it in my bag. Right. Why is it in your bag? Because um, I think it's This is not a big deal. It's really not well, a big deal. All we want to know is what it's for. I haven't seen one before. And I would say, based on all the paraphernalia that's here, it has something to do with, with uh, your dope habit. That's all. Go ahead. Uh, he's the party man. It's the party bong. All right, have you committed any burglaries today? No, I don't burglarize. Not at all. No way. I'm coming from, um, from my friend's house on Tory Pines. What's your friend's name? Never going to Tom. Tom Hope. I don't know his last name. He's a friend of yours, but you don't know his last name? How long, how long has he been a friend of yours? Like a month and a half. A month and a half? 
You see, because we just had a burglary up the street. And you look similar to one of the persons that was described leaving the area. Do you know anything about that at all? Okay. I don't burglarize. But you don't burglarize. You were coming from the same area that the burglary was, and you're wearing white cotton gloves. <laughs> well, Mike, you know, we've dealt with you before, and uh, it's a good thing we didn't have a gun on you this time. And the only amount of dope you have is just that little bit that we had? I'm sorry? Um, I said, uh, I wish that you wouldn't hold that against me. What's that? Uh, uh, well, you know, I, I don't hold uh, that dope against you. It's probably your habit, right? What I hold against you is when I tell you I'm going to identify yourself as a police officer for you to stop, that you don't. You ditch your bike and je uh, jeopardize my safety, my partner's safety, and everybody else, including all these kids. And we've got probably about 20 kids around here. That's the last thing you do. It's like your own little mini lab. Is that what you got going? Now, what is that? That's a torch. Do you weld things on your bike, or is that for the dope? Whatever you use, you know, a torch. I'm asking you. You've got, you've got these glass pieces here with burnt marks on them, and you've got a torch, and all these other gizmos. I'm just wondering if you do all that together. I thought you lived one street over from here, just right over here I south. Used to. Huh? I used to. So if we go over to your house right now and talk to your mom, is your mom home right now? I don't know. I doubt it. I don't know. If she is, is she gonna tell us you stay there or not? No, she's gonna stay down. Right. You must be in bad shape because this fat old 40-year-old man here can catch you. Well, I've been a police officer with Las Vegas Metro for a little over 13 years now, and been a sergeant the last five years. I've primarily been working in this area, which is known as the Frank area. And it's a pretty good area to work. It's one of those areas that you never know what you're going to get into. It has a wide diversity of uh, type of people and income and stuff like that. So at any given time, uh, we can go from almost nothing to do to we have so much to do that we can't really keep a lid on it. We have an officer that has a possible burglary suspect at gunpoint at our uh, Metro Evidence Vault. Apparently somebody is trying to break into the back bicycle area, so we're going to run around the corner and respond and back that officer. Well, the kid's in the bike compound. We cannot get to him. We're going to have to have someone come here with a key. Yeah, it looks like we do have to inside. Call and let her know. Don't get cut on the razor wire. Where are they at? Inside here. Okay. Just the one or two? Just one right now. Frank 1 and 12, did you copy the dispatch to the evidence vault? He's in custody and we're checking the lot. Have the next in response, check the roadway, just east of the evidence vault. Where's your ID at? I don't have none on you. Though. You don't have nothing on you? No, no. Is it by itself? Yes. Yeah. Were you the one that was in here about 20, 30 minutes ago? Yes, sir. How old are you? 26. And you're out stealing bikes. Don't you think that's a little stupid? Yeah. Especially in the police impound yard there, pal. What were you going to do with it when you got it? Ride it home. <laughs> he's looking at like three, four hundred dollar bikes here. Yeah. He had, he's, he's got two of them, so he's going to send two over. It's burglary regardless. Yeah. That one's cheaper. That's probably about three or four, maybe well, five hundred. We're, we're looking at grand larceny anyway. Yeah. Attempt grand larceny, criminal trespass. He says he wasn't in here before. So we're not going to find any stolen property at your house? Yeah. Yes. It's pretty amazing that these people will stoop to any uh, length to uh, to steal property, but to to come to the police impound yard and break in and steal bikes is just hard to believe. On uh, the 406 Never can Myself tell anymore these days. One are going to be en route to 04 Montebello. Well, this is the second break-in alarm that we had at our vault tonight in the same area of the bike compound. Uh, it's likely that this subject may have been here earlier and may have gotten in 
and stole some bikes. We're going to go to his address, which is not too far away. It's actually within biking or walking distance. We're going to go check that address and see if maybe there's other stolen property there. Double three, George, four. Hello. Do you know, do you know Stephen? Keep going, so I can hear. Okay, go ahead. Come on, Sass. Sass, come on. Yeah, now I can hear. I'm sorry. How are you doing tonight? Pretty good. What can I do? Are you Stephen's father? Yeah, I am. Okay, let me explain to you what has just happened. He uh, was caught in the evidence vault area, still in bikes. Oh, you got it. And uh, what we'd like to do, if we can get permission from you, is to check your yard or shed or garage, see if maybe there's other stolen bikes here, because this is the second break-in alarm that we had at our evidence vault tonight, within an hour, as a matter of fact. All right, well, just get, let me put some pants on. OK. All right. I can't believe this. I'll be at Bonanza I don't know where they came from. You don't know where they came from? No, I didn't, I didn't, well, I know where the one came from because the evidence sticker is right on there. Yeah. Just leave them right there like that. Does he have any other bikes that you know of? No, that's, that's it. Can we, check, uh, can we check in the backyard, too? Oh, sir, you can was check it? anything you want. Was his buddy it. with the El Camino over here tonight? 44. What, 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 what color was it? Was it, was it, was it brown, gray? The gray? Yes, yeah. No, the older yeah. gray one? Yeah, but see, I'm colorblind. Do you want to have the uh, event number for the first four? Yeah, he just got out of jail. Yeah. Go it. ahead. What, uh, what just was he in for? Just got out of Pardon? What was he in for? Tickets. He's been running from the police department, I guess, for about. Okay, you want to show me where the, the rest of the, if there's any others? That's it. Right when did he drag you some earlier tonight? I don't know. I just see. I just woke up. Yeah. Okay. Can we go ahead and check the backyard? Can we check the backyard? Yeah, come on. Okay. Right now we're looking for bicycles mainly. Well, we'll just go ahead and take a quick look. You never know. He might have slipped a couple in here without you knowing it. This is motorcycle too. No, the guy's in jail. Motorcycle? Yeah, and he owes me a lot of money. Holy and smoke, I know who this is. His name is Brett. Hey, uh, this is the one I got in that pursuit with. Remember the one that dumped it over on yeah. Kel? Yeah, this yeah I do. This is the bike. You know, like we said, we really appreciate, you know, you know, Probably you helping us out and stuff. Riding. Well, it looks like as it turns out that, uh, the original burglar, or burglary alarm was in fact an actual where these two bikes were stolen out of our impound again. So as it turns out, it looks like this turned out to be a pretty good caper. Got him for two counts of grand larceny. And like I said before, you know, stealing from the cops, who would think? But you're obviously gonna get caught, and he did. I was blessed with this accent by virtue of being born and raised in the great state of Texas. I uh, moved to Las Vegas and joined the police department in 1989. The area that I have to patrol is the northwest section of the city. We're out of the Northwest Area Command. It is a very, very populous area. It's probably the most rapidly growing area in the valley. A tremendous amount of new home construction, tremendous amount of apartment construction. And Victor, three, you want to be with him? Okay, we have a stolen vehicle. Uh, apparently, uh, the person that took the vehicle is intoxicated. That he is in the neighborhood. We're going to try at this point to see if we can locate him. It might be him too. He's going the wrong way in traffic. Patrol through Victor 34. I have a possible subject. He's on a bicycle. He's out here. Uh, driving around on Lake Mead. He's traveling in the uh, eastbound travel lanes, going westbound. Hey, copy. Female, 408, and when she was advised the place for call, she uh, took out the back door. There that idiot. Thank 
Claris, uh, the 463 and copy 460. 14, go ahead. Uh, Nevada 926, DC Robert Lincoln, stay on uh, Shut it down. Huh? Shut it down. Get off the bike. Up on the car. Huh? What are you doing out here acting like an idiot? Get up on the car. Take the backpack off and get up on the car. God, sir, you scared the out of me. Put the backpack down on the ground. Put your hands behind your back. What are you doing out here driving like that, man? I was just riding. Just riding, you're all in traffic. Oh, you scared me. What are you doing? You know you have the same obligations on that bicycle you do in a car? You, mm -hmm. you can't go the wrong way on the street, you can't jump curbs, you can't run up sidewalks, you can't circle around in 7-Eleven parking lots. Just trying to... Just trying to what? Anything in here with your name on it? Just a bunch of cars I've found at the casinos. That you found at the casinos. Stuck in the machines, go right there. Yeah. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm going to slip these cuffs on you until I figure this out, OK? OK. It's a little bit strange when you got uh, credit cards that don't belong to you, you got identification that doesn't belong to you. You're not under arrest at this time, you understand? If I run the names on these cards and they come up the victim of a burglary, that's not going to look real good, is it? You can run them, sir. What are you going to do if they come up the victim of a burglary? I wouldn't think that because somebody would just leave it, left them in a machine. Is this your wallet? Yes, it is, sir. How come it has nothing in your name inside? That's probably my roommate. You have any idea what's on this receipt? I'm, I, I don't know. Hmm. Well, there's some two containers of Summer's Eve. Uh, hair coloring, hair conditioner, shampoo, uh, some women's underwear. You mind if I look in your bag? There's a pair of bolt cutters in my flashlight. A pair of bolt cutters and flashlight. Uh-huh, that's very interesting. What would we keep bolt cutters for? I was cutting the spokes off my hub in Mike's garage right over here. Might be a pair of burglary tools, you think? No, sir. You might need a flashlight so you can look around in the dark. Okay, that's a Pretty nice flashlight. Okay, protection, sir. Is this your book? What's in it? Phone number. Whose phone number? Let's see. There's Michelle, there's Nathan, there's Mike, there's uh, um, That's not yours, is it? That's, uh, I picked it up, yes. What was your arrest for here? Lady theft. What did you take then? What did I take? Do you have anything in your pockets I need to know about? You have, no, I don't want you reaching in them. I want you to tell me whether you have anything in your pockets I need to know about. Yes, no, maybe? Yeah, I have a line and a baggie. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. Which pocket is it in? It's in the little teeny one. Where? The little one. This pocket? Yes, sir. Yeah, it looks like we have a small quantity of methamphetamine. Anything else on you that I need to know about? Anything that's going to bite, poke, cut, or stick me before I put my hands in your pockets? Yes, I'm still curious as to why you tried to get away from us. Is it a little bit of dope scary that bad? Yeah, it does. Why? Because I have a problem, and I can't admit to it. I guess I can admit to it, but that is enough to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail, but... It's not I... only enough to go to jail, that's enough to go to prison. I just want to help with my problem. What kind of help would you like? I'd like to do treatment or something that I can, so I can get off that and get a life. Would you stay on a, on a program? Yes, I would. I just talked to my mom the other night, and I, I, I feel heartless and empty and worthless. And that's why right there. I agree wholeheartedly. I tell you what, it takes a big man to stand up there and say that, too. It's true. I'm going to have you get in the back. I want you to watch your head going in. It's a little tight. you got long legs. Be careful. 
Uh, we will have to take him down tonight. We'll book him for possession of controlled substance for the methamphetamine. He'll be booked for possession of burglary tools as well. Uh, I think he will be a very good candidate to try to refer to the drug court. And uh, who knows, maybe we can turn him around. Out here working this area, you'll see just about anything. If you see anything strange or odd, it'd probably be down in this area. And uh, then I'll walk back, myself another officer en route to a run. And I happened to glance over into the alley, and he happened to glance over. And uh, walking down the alley, here's a uh, totally naked gentleman walking down uh, with nothing but a television set in his arms. And uh, we were en route to the run, so we couldn't stop to go back and, uh, and see what uh, the story was on it. Uh, but something like that, uh, I don't know, it's almost, uh, gets to the point where it's almost common seeing strange things down here. We're responding to uh, sound like a uh, attempted robbery. Uh, supposed victim uh, called in. Uh, he's claiming out the subject tried to rob him. Uh, he's unconscious uh, up here at the scene. Okay, that's all right. Come on over here for a second. Him and the buzz just tried to grab me. I went for these guys. Boy, 251 control. Calm down for a second. I need you to stay right here for a second. Let me check yes, on this sir. other guy, all right? Yes, sir. Hey, partner. Hey. Okay, thank you. 251 control. Go ahead. Advice South District, we're going to be at the back of the parking lot behind the labor works. You might want to go ahead and uh, start robbery out here. Uh, looks like it's going to be a uh, robbery attempt, and uh, one of the suspects uh, is the one that's injured now. Try to find out uh, who this guy is. He's got some ID here in the back, luckily. He's got. Okay. Yeah, wait till Wishard gets here. You know what? Uh, okay. What happened here? What you guys got? Okay. Well, what happened was I come walking out the door. And this black guy come up behind me and hit me in the back of the head. And he's standing there and said, we want your damn money. Okay, was he standing outside here or yeah, inside with you? No, outside. He's standing right about where he's at. Okay. And the black dude said, I want, or he said, I want your money. And I turned around to defend myself, because I'm a 50-degree black guy mm -hmm. type on door. I turned around to defend myself against the black guy, and he kicked me in my leg and knocked me down. And I grabbed the black dude and flipped him down, and he hit his head, and he took, jumped up and took off running. And this guy grabbed me by the legs, and I just started kicking the head out of him, man. Okay, when you say, what exactly did you do to this guy when you had him down? I, I kicked him, and I stomped him, and I beat him. Okay, after he him. was down? Okay. I hit him with, if I got blood here, I hit him with my elbow. Okay. All right, and just stay right here, though, okay? I stomped him, and hit him, and kicked him. That's okay. what I did. Boy 251 control. But then I sat down beside him, man, and, and tried to see if he was okay. Okay. I don't believe this, man. Okay. I was sitting over here giving this man mouth to mouth, hoping he wouldn't die on me. Okay, why don't you do me a favor there? You hurt at all? I hurt at all. Are you hurt or injured? No. Okay, I just want to make sure. So I got a new pair of tennis shoes, man. I got blood on my tennis shoes. Okay. Why don't you stand up here for a second, all right? I'm going to make sure you don't have just no, no knives, no nothing on you, all right? You're not in any trouble right now, no, okay? sir. I know I'm. I didn't do nothing. You got every right to protect yourself if someone's trying to rob you, okay? He had every intention of hurting you, so. But I thought he was dead. His brother took off the left. He's, He's not dead. Him. He's going to be all right, okay? Let's see how this guy's doing. Yeah, Listerine, I'd say. Yeah. I could, uh. He's got a warrant on him on top of the, uh, the outright charges, so. Okay, keep it. 
Yeah. Yep. I guess him and another guy was. All right. Ready? Another guy took off running, so. It's only half inch. It's not going to hold real well, but we'll work with it. Ah, a little, little something better than that. Okay. Ready? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Were you defending yourself? Yes, you he choked me. And that's when you used the knife yes. to, to get him off, yeah? Okay. I was sitting right in here. Okay. We'll get your information in a minute, okay? Stand up. What? Keep your hands behind your back from here. What am I doing now? What am I doing? You're under arrest for battery. That's right. Battery? We're choking her. Oh, Give man. Give her information for me, please. Come on, man. I didn't even touch her. Y'all gonna take... She said you She said you were strangling her. Man, I would... Did you see any marks on her? No, she was red. Okay. So I gotta go to jail for battery and get... Man. Have a seat right here, all right? Okay. Where's your uh, wallet? You got a billfold on you? Yeah. Where's it at? Right here? Yeah. Hey, Chief, what's going on? Oh, no. Slow down. Slow down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Hang on. He can Hang tell on. you Put about your beer it. down. Put your beer down. Now, why would you... Well, that's happening to us today all, all day. Now, why would you stagger right to where two police officers are standing? Huh? Sir, I'm going home. You're going home. 55 right there. What? 855? Is this your dad? He's gonna Sit make down here. Yeah, let's just. Yeah, you're you're under arrest for public intoxication, Chief. Why you can stagger towards two police officers? Oh, now. How soon did you notice you were walking up to police officers? Soon, right when you got here? And you're an attendant. Do what? What's your name? <laughs> no. No. I got that machine. <laughs> I ain't gonna sit over there. Because I know y'all gonna lock me up. He 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 wants to get out because right right he lives close to home. Right he believes he's been assaulted. Well, can I get her locked up for theft? What's she steal? I she stole my VCRs in their house. You can't steal something when you give it to them. That's no, called I didn't a gift. Give it to them. I live right there. Can I go home? Well, I no. want it out of her house now. Why did you come here initially to give her a what? No, uh -uh. one was in there, and she still got it in there. What'd you, why'd you come over here for her first? To give her a VCR. Sir. Thank you. There was a VCR that's still in want there, and she still got it. And now she has two. Yeah. Sir, I don't want to go to jail. I want her locked up for theft. I don't want to go to jail. Right now. I live right down you here. Me up. I can I come home? You know what? Can I go home? No. I left a half a block. Excuse me, sir. Stand up. Okay. One, two, three, up. Uh, okay. <clears throat> this? Watch my door, dog. Come here. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Come on, step on up right. here. Watch your head. Stand right here. There you go. Don't get too red. All right, sir, step over here. You know that. Being that it's a weekend, a lot of people are drinking today. This is not the first time it's happened. And, uh, another intoxicated man comes uh, walking down the down the street. I don't think he even knew he was. Uh, we were police officers until his head came up and he had his beer in his hand. It was just a bad day for him. Remember, we're taking these people down for misdemeanors. Unless you see a gun or dope in the car. It's just patronizing a prostitute. If they get hinky and want to try to run, get out of the way, call for the uniform cars, let them come up. Here's the lineup for tonight. All we're going to do is uh, another prostitution reversal. Almost everybody in here has been involved with one before. For those of you that's not, it's no big deal. Uh, Kim is going to be the main decoy. Michelle and Gloria will be on foot uh, right next to her. Uh, when she gives her visual signal, which is a stretch, and when she gets the verbal, when I hear it on the Kel set, I'll tell you that the prop's been made, the undercover cars and Gloria and Michelle can go ahead and move in on foot when you see her do the stretch, too. Anybody have any questions? I don't want anything turned down. If the guy say $2, $2 it is. <laughs> okay, Tim, your girls are out. Yeah, point one clear. 
Okay, Kemp set up uh, on the corner over there. We've got direct line of sight, plus Keld up, and we're just gonna wait and see what happens. Shouldn't take very long. Okay, I seen him uh, down at uh, Bell or Warman, whatever that is, just the first street east. Uh, he's going on by. Uh, now he's pulling into, uh, he just pulled into the driveway, just east, just west of Addison. Uh, oh, where is he? You're going to stop and say hi? North West Corner, Ooh, about 100 Garth feet Garth. west of Addison. You looking for a little action? Maybe. Maybe? Cool. Get some money? A little bit. A little bit? What are you looking for? Huh? You got $20? Okay, she's getting the prop. Stand by. Well, I'll come over and get in on the passenger side then. Okay, she got the prop. Move, move, move. Here we go. Back. Hold hands up. There you go. There you go. Don't let it roll back. That's tough. Come on, pull in. Come on. Now. One more All right. Bring your arm around. Bring it on. Okay. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay. Come on, man. Okay. Come on, man. Got it. All right. Out. Let's go home. Yes. Have a seat down there. Let you go home. That was perfect. That's just how they're supposed to work. Nobody got hurt. We were able to block the car off. Uh, we overwhelmed him with numbers. He didn't know what was going on until it was too late. Got him cuffed and stuffed, moved out of here, and we're up running again. We're going to work this location for an hour and a half, two hours maybe, and see how it goes. It's been good for us in the past. Did you want something? Did you need something? Uh, what's it? How much you got? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm good. Let me tell you, I'm really good. Okay. You got ten dollars? Okay, you give me ten. Okay. Okay, she got the prop. Move, move. Where's the damn door? Please, turn your car off. Turn your car off, man. What did What did What did Get your car. Get out of the car. Holy. Come on out. Out of the car, sir. Come out of the car. Turn around. Okay, what do I do? Okay, what do I do? You're under arrest. What do I do, guys? Okay, I'm in. Right, man. Okay, here. What are you guys? Okay. We don't know. What are you doing? We don't I know. I don't see nothing. Come on, buddy. Guys, I don't see yeah, nothing. Come on. Should I, should I turn the mirror on? Yeah. 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 Do, 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 no, guys, what are you doing? That's between you and the police. What are you doing? It's between you and the police. We don't know, man. We weren't there. It's between you and the police. I know. Okay. Okay, what are you doing, guys? What's your name? Abraham. Abraham, uh, yes. go ahead and have a what seat. Do, guys? Have a seat. Under arrest for sure. Have a seat. Okay, what do I do? There you go. Have a seat. Relax. You had, you had them circling like buzzards here while you were talking to this guy. All right. Okay. Let's get back in it. Good job, Kimmy. Okay, everybody, we're set up and we're going to try to get one more and then call it. Okay, big semi type looking truck. Turning on to uh, turning north onto Miley. He's calling Kim over. Nice to meet you. Dayton? Yeah, I'm Dayton. You got twenty dollars on? Yes. Okay, I'll get in. Okay, she got the prop. Move, move, move. I want to wait till car gets up. I don't want him getting hinky. Okay.
Please, please keep your hands up where I can see them. Come out. Come on out, pal. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. It's that old blonde in it. Yeah. All right. Oh, damn blonde gets you every time. All right, everybody. Put your hands here in your back. Well, <laughs> we're going to give a shot. Can you drive it, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> so that uh, I could date him. He said, oh, you're dating. I said, yeah. And he said, $20. And he said, OK. Good job. Mm -hmm. I think we're done for the night. Let's go back and count them up. I spent four years in the Army in the 82nd Airborne Division. After that, I went to uh, the Nevada test site, worked as a, a security officer out there. I grew up here, and this is pretty much where I wanted to be the rest of my life. And this is the best department there is, so I couldn't see doing anything else. And uh, so far, it's been a really good job. Uh, we got a vehicle that's uh, not uh, acting right. We're going to do a quick vehicle stop. Control 3 North 41, copy 467. Stay in the car, sir. Get in the car. Be in Nevada 160. We will be at Palo Verde and Twain inside uh, Market Mercado parking lot. You have your license, your registration, your proof of insurance. You got anything in the car that could hurt me? No. Go and get your registration and insurance out for me. You know your right rear tail lights out? Oh, is it? Is it really? Yeah. It's broken. You didn't use any signals. You're just coming around the corners pretty fast. What's up? I'm sorry. Well, I mean, what's going on? Right now, I don't have it, sir. OK. okay who's who's right the name now. on the registration? My name. Your name? Uh, OK. Do me a favor. Go ahead and step out of the car for me. Just come on straight back here. OK. Um, come on. Hold on, sleep. Hello. Richard. Who's this? Hang up the phone and step out of the car. I will. Now. Right now, yeah. You're about an inch away from going to jail. Okay, sir. What part of this don't you understand? I'm getting it, okay? No, you're not. What? You're stalling. I want you to get out of the car. Come on. Step out of the car. I am. Put your hands where I can see them. Okay. Bring your hand around right now. What? I just got my money, man. You put your hand. All right, I'm putting my money in there. Okay, 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 okay. Don't you? Please. Put your hands behind your back. Don't, man. Don't. Oh, <gasps> man, don't. Okay, please. Give me your other hand. Wait. Give me your other hand. I am. Hey, that's what you were hiding. Damn it, man, here. Don't. Don't, man, don't. What's this for, man? What Let's doing? go. What? Right here. Okay, okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. You got it. You got it? Yeah. Lean back. What? Spread your feet. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. Listen to me. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to have the presence of attorney. If you cannot afford one, won't be appointed for you. You understand? Okay. What was in the jar? Be honest. Be honest. Oh, no. Yeah, you do. All right, I want you to think about it for a second, OK? Come on over here. Come on. My money, man. Don't worry about your money. That's now property of Las Vegas. Spread your feet. Oh, no, Spread your feet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's loose. Oh, is there going to get? Oh, He's got a ton of dope on him. Where's that? It's on, on the hood. Well, it's uh, North 41. Okay. 3 North 43. Just got off work with all that. I didn't have that. Dude, it fell right out of your pocket. No, it did, man. Yeah, it did. That came out of you. Okay? It's real simple. All right, you're under arrest. Is it meth? I'm going to test it in about five minutes. I'm going to find out real quick. What is it? I don't know what it is. 
Okay. Anymore. Well, it was on you. It wasn't on you. So, yes, it was. Oh, it so you're going to jail for that. I just got off work. That's fine. And you'd have probably been going home had you just been a little more cooperative. I just got paid. How much we got there? Over 500? Uh, probably close to 2,000. Hey, sir, 2,000? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18, 10, 10 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Almost 2,000. And with that amount? No, oh, that's not worth it. As soon as we test it. That's my, that's my boy. I just got changed. I can prove that. What are you on right now, sir? Nothing, man. My, my teeth hurt, man. How come you're sweating like a madman? Because it's hot car. I understand. I'm just standing next to the hot car, too, though. I got a turtleneck on and a long sleeve shirt, and I'm not sweating anywhere near like you are. I'm going to test it real quick for uh, meth. <laughs> we got a disco? Bad. Wow. wow. That turned Bingo. very quick. OK. It's pretty good. Richard. Once we get this weighed, you're under arrest for uh, possession of methamphetamines. You need a sheet? No, I'll do it down in jail. Okay. Is there anything in the car that we need to be worried about, my friend? Huh? My cell phone. Get my cell phone. Your cell phone? What else in there? There's a pink paper in there. Is there anything illegal? Any illegal no. contraband? Anything in there? Any oh. other narcotics or anything like that that we need to uh, be concerned about? We're giving you a chance. You can tell us. You can tell us right now. Should be good. Burglary, burglary, grand larceny, under the influence of a controlled substance. Come on. Yeah, 2000 was the most recent. Okay. So. Burglary a bunch of times, grand larceny a bunch of times. Any narcotics related stuff? Yeah, that's the next sheet. Uh, well, the, the bottom one that's was. That's the next page? Yeah. Holy smokes. Uh, under the influence of a controlled, a felony, so I'm not really sure what that is. Um, ITS drugs, All possession local of controlled substance. Yeah, everything. Oh, everything's local. Yeah. Like I said, we'll give rope a call, let them know we got him, and go from there. Definitely. And uh, like I said, I'll get that go, weight out and go, go from there. I'm going to go talk to him about his, about his stint in prison and whatnot. OK. I'm glad it didn't turn out any worse. Yeah. Thanks, bro. That's good. See you in a good bit. Good job. I got two small boys. Just today, we were sitting in the driveway, hopped in the front seat, and like he was my partner. I said, let's go, Dad. Let's go get him. My father was a police officer, and I am now. And hopefully, they follow after me and make it fulfilling career out of this, this job I love to come to every day. We're going to a call here where the uh, two-year-old is being kept from the mother by a, a male. He's walking around, holding the child, refusing to give it to the mother. Sir! Sir! Stop right there! Hold on, sir. Get it. Move over there for me. Fourteen on two, Lee County, ninety-seven. I'll be out with the father and the child. What's going on here? Me and my wife are splitting up. Mm -hmm. and I, I was packing my stuff and I was trying to leave with my son. Who has custody of taken. the child? Well, we ain't separated or nothing yet, so we both have custody. Okay. Well, this stuff is at the house, though. That's his primary residence. Well, she took, she's running from law from North Carolina, moved down here with him, and I came back to get him, and now she's trying to keep me from leaving with him. She had an outstanding warrant for failure to appear in North Carolina, and she had the money to fix it, so she came down here where her mom's at. Okay. Well, here's the deal. I need to hear some information. Hey, hey buddy. How are you? Say Riley. Riley? Yeah. So you you came down from North Carolina to get him? Yes. My, I, I live How long there. ago? Uh, two days ago. Okay. So she just came down with him? Yes. And she uh, moved all of her stuff down oh, here? Well, she's been down here longer than that. Yeah, she moved her stuff down here. When did he come down? With her. How long now? Um, not even a month. OK. Did you report him missing up there? No, I didn't report him missing or anything. I didn't know I could if it was you weird. Know, it was her kid, too. I didn't know it was illegal. To... Well, if she's uh, leaving, I don't like a vacation. She's not allowed to just take the child okay, well, she just out of the state. And left out of state with him. Like I said, she left because of that warrant while she left. OK. And you have a motel you're staying in? The yeah, wife, well, I got it. Yeah, I got to go up here and get it. All right, well, do me a favor. Um, just kind of hang out over here, try to be comfortable. I want to go try to talk to her. What's her name? Her mom's Debbie. Debbie? She's Who's Debbie? I am. Are you the mother? No, oh. she's at their house right up the road. OK. I'm trying to get hang some facts here. Did I'll that child come from North Carolina within a month? 
six weeks. Okay. Yeah. Did she have permission from the father to take the child across state lines? Yes, he was with her. In writing? He was with her. They were here together. They came together. And then he went back to North Carolina? And he left okay. and came back last weekend. Okay. And now he's leaving again. Okay. Okay, get the whole story. That's again, why she's having can we go fit. back to the earlier comment I made? That's what, what I'm trying to do, I is know get the that. whole story. I'm sorry, we're upset because these children don't need this. The kid was screaming for his mom, and he was screaming for me, and the dad's jerking him away. It can't keep on. These kids don't need to see this. Okay, stuff. well, if you can get the mother down here, and we can sort this out, because that's who I need to talk to. I'll be right over here. That's fine. Your story totally conflicts with their story. One second. He was down here for six weeks, and uh, for you to just come down and take him out where he's been for so long, 1402 County, 10 All right, stay right here for me. Are you the mom of this boy? OK. What's going on? He says you have a warrant out in North Carolina. Is that true? Uh, yeah, my attorney's taking care of that. OK. So that's been waived. Now, him on the other end, he has no license at all. And he has an illegal vehicle here. No tag, no insurance, no nothing. Well, his brother is coming to pick him up. He's not going to be driving. He's full. His brother's in North Carolina. Okay. And the money that he has in his pocket is mine. He took from me $260. Uh, and that kid has no car seat, no food, no wipes, no diapers, no nothing. So I don't see how that's fit for him to take a child and have nothing to provide for him. Okay, so you are both living there for the last month and a half. Yeah, and I sent him packing because he wasn't going to get a job and he wasn't going to do anything, and I'm not going to be married to some low life. Okay. So I told him to hit the damn road. I'd pay for it. Gave him the money. His ass hits the road, gets halfway to North Carolina, and comes back. Oh, I'm sorry, this, that, and the other. No, I'm not going to play that crap. So I waited till I had more money, enough money, to give him to go back this weekend and this is what I get. I try to be nice. I say, I have to be up at 3 o'clock in the morning to go to work. I mean, you know, I, I'm kind of upset. I, he's two and a half. He can't fend for himself out here in North Fort Myers to beat it all. We're in the process of buying a house. You know, there's a lot of going on. Mm -hmm. And this, he's not involved with the purchasing of the house. But that's not the point. The point is, he does not have the means to support this child. I'm trying to find out where the child has residency here. and where he stays. Here. Okay. He has not had residency in North Carolina for six weeks. Okay. And he didn't have residency there. Okay, well, I'll get your name and everything just a minute. That's just fine. stay right over here. Jeffrey, listen, I'm a father just like you, and I would want the best thing for my child. And right now, tonight, in, in the conditions that we're facing on your part, in the best interest of the child would be to be with the mother tonight. Correct? I guess. Yes? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to show you North Fort Myers on the street, no place to stay, no food right now, no vehicle, versus at least a house, a roof. Or, he should be your main concern, his safety. You want me to take him over there so there's no argument? What's his first name again? Riley. Well, his first name is Justin, but he goes by Riley. Hey, Riley, come here. Let me see how heavy you are. Mr. Fix-It. Oh! Hey, I got something for you. You want something? Ooh, how about that, buddy? You like that? All right. He's all yours, OK? All right. Yeah. Oh, there's Mommy. Who gave big you bird. a bird, baby? Where you get the big bird? Who gave you that big bird? That's a bird. That's a big bird. Um, I'm not here to determine who has custody. What I'm here to determine is the best safety thing for the child. That's fine. So he determined that. Since he doesn't have a car, he doesn't know where he's going to stay, and he doesn't have the necessary essentials to take care of him, that it would be best to be with you. Okay. Hopefully you guys can work it out for the kid's sake. All right, buddy. See you later. Pretty much anything that you need police work and that you're looking to find, you can find it on east side. Some days you may want to come out here and just write some traffic tickets, and some days you may want to go look for illegal narcotics or stolen cars or... We, have, we run the whole gamut of minor violations up to murders and homicides. He just dripped something out the window. Now we're stopping a vehicle and just left a dope house. We've been getting several complaints at the house down here. We're going to stop and see if we can find out what they're doing over here. I'm taking her home and we're running out of gas. Where's home? Right there. What'd you stop down there for then? I, it was the car park. We're trying to go around. How are you doing? If she lives down there, why'd you turn that way? 
Why? Because we twins. Stuff, she right knows there. the guy. She was saying hi. Mm. Your address shows grapevine. Just step out for me. Stay back here behind this truck talk. Who do you know at the house over there again? I don't know anybody. She's a family friend. I picked her up, went to lunch, taking her home. Now oh, we're going to the gas station because the truck's almost out of gas. Which gas station are you going to? Chevron. Chevron? Island. Yes, sir. We just got It doesn't explain to me why you made a turn to go the because opposite direction from where you're going. that dude, and she said, stop real quick. Stop real quick. Did she pick up anything from the dude? No, sir. No? No, sir. Nobody came in the truck? Nobody got out of the truck? No, you could see. I mean, we they were parked, and we were, had to go around. They moved their car. What? Did she ever talk to the dude she was no, looking sir. to talk to? No, Because we're running out of As you could hear, it's going like. What did you drop out the window when I got in behind you, back here? You looked right at me and went like this, out the window. The only thing that could have been was a cigarette. I was, okay. I swear Smoking on a cigarette. my life. Just have a seat for me real quick. Is there anything in that truck I need to know about? No, sir. Nothing at all? No, Nothing sir. she may have picked up and put in your truck? Nothing you may have left in your truck? She hasn't done anything. Nothing? No, sir. They okay. just looked at me. Have a seat for me. Okay. Can I get my daughter out? Yeah, go ahead. She's probably terrified. She's going to get the kid. Here's Bobby. And what it is, we've been getting a lot of complaints of people dealing dope. Right there. That's the whole. Well, I, and I agree. Watch out, Leonard. Oh, God. But that's, that's the reason why we're. That's the whole name. I agree. Okay. okay. Yeah. But when they're being more specific, okay? Are you diabetic? I'm not, no, sir. Okay. Is there any reason why there'd be a syringe in your car? This is not my. It's a family friend's, friend's, as you can tell. Friend's car. Would you step out for me, too, Miss? Okay. See, that's the, one of the main reasons why we're doing what we're doing, okay? Don't you have a seat for me right back up there over the curb so you don't get run over? Put in it. Okay. Just have a seat for me so you don't get run over. I didn't say you're going to jail. I'm just asking if you have a seat for me. Okay. I found a uh, uncapped syringe in the door panel right next to where she was sitting. It's got some brown residue in the end of it. It's more than likely going to be heroin. You know your social? But uh, we'll see what else we can find. At least they give us PC for the rest of the car, search the rest of the car. So. Someone here is lying. I understand you have a problem, and I commend you for trying to get help. Okay, but now it's but it's but it's, but it's wrong. Okay, tell me the truth. Okay, um, officer, I was on my way to the store. Okay. And I seen her at the gas okay. station. Okay. And um, she was begging for money. She didn't have no money. Okay. And the baby got some. And she said, Janice, please help me get some gas. Okay. She didn't get out of that day. So okay. I helped her. I took the money that I had and gave her some gas, bought some sodas, bought some cigarettes. And other people have been in the van to take advantage of her, and they get tired. They get up. But as long as she was with me, they didn't have Hang on. As long as she was with me, she has not used no drugs. Okay. And Problem is, know. that still doesn't explain how that syringe got in that vehicle. I didn't put it there. It was out there when I got in. Okay. Whether she did or the girl, the people she been with might have, have put it in there. Have you allowed anybody else to use this yes. vehicle today? I have, but that's not it. I know who it is because I put it there for her because she had it in the glove box where my daughter could kick it. And you're going to let them take no. my daughter away I because you're not going to be honest about now, yeah? I didn't have no syringe. Why are you lying? You been getting held, there. That's why the baby don't have no panties, no pampers. You been getting stuff. That's why you didn't have no gas. I took the last money I had to try to put some gas in there. I put three dollars worth of gas. I don't why have twenty now. This? Why are you doing this? Okay, well, that doesn't explain why, what you're doing over here. Okay, if you're having problems taking care of your kid, and you're doing things on the side to make money. Okay. I, I, I know I what you're doing over here. Okay. Everybody else knows. Right. Tell me what you're doing over here then. I was a better friend, and she was going to teach me, and I had a babysitter. She teach never you what? showed up. She no, no, no. never Teach you what? She never Where showed up. Did. What was she going to teach you? How to trick, but she didn't show up, and I couldn't do it, and I swear that it's not my experience. Where did this one come from then? This one was stuck on the back of the seat, right above your purse. As good as you know I'm me. in recovery. Why don't you just be? No, you know I. If you put a syringe in there, and you're gonna let them take my daughter because you're I afraid to syringe. say that was your syringe. I don't have no problem. I don't have no problem if I was still using. But I've been good to you, Ashley. I've been good to you. They just left a dope house down here, down the street. I've already found two syringes on them. Both of them got heroin residue in them. Uh, one of them was uncapped. She's had a piece of a broken crack pipe on her, so you may want to watch your fingers. If you don't mind. Searching her real quick, and then I've got another one in the back seat back here. Sure. 
minute that she's the one that attacked I why I'm being charged with Okay, this is the reason why you're being charged with it, okay? Okay. You're the, op you're the operator of that vehicle. It was found on your side of the vehicle in the door, okay? She said that you've been missing for two days with your kid trying to get high, out here getting high for two days. She, she has no reason to lie to me. She's going to jail for two tickets. She lied about the crack pipe. She lied about her track marks. She's lied about, uh, she's going to jail for tickets. But how many times have you lied to me also? I haven't. I've got, that's why I was, she, where Take did she seat. say she was going Take a seat. home to Trees to her Take a drug seat. owls? I want my puppy. Take a seat. No, it's okay, baby. It's going to be okay. I'd love to call CPS to come get her kid. We've got an officer who's willing to volunteer to take the child down there. Well, maybe sending her kid to CPS and her going to jail will make her think twice about coming over trying to score well, dope you would again. hope, but huh? you know how it goes. Probably won't happen, but we can hope.